Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Enter the Gungeon. We are jumping again, checking out another modded item. This is going to be the Bullet Shuffle. This is a pretty interesting one, an S tier item from uh, Once More Into the Breach. And yeah, as you can see, grants completely random bullet effects on every shot. A belt of infinite potential. You can plug any type of animation from his ample supply. So, we're going to see there's a lot of weird stuff happening. It does apply to our pistol as well, but we're going to be getting all sorts of weird shots going to be a reasonably powerful run overall, but we'll, we'll sort of see how this goes. Obviously, we're going to be looking for, um, oh my god, we're going to be looking for weapons that fire fast and a lot of bullets. The club would be pretty amazing, but yeah, we're going to be getting all sorts of wacky weirdness going here. Bullet Shuffle is uh, one of my favorite items, just, it's kind of, it just reminiscent of Fruitcake from Isaac to me. It's just all of the things happening. All of the random things, I like it. I think it's a bit stronger than um, than Fruitcake is though, because the bullet effects in this game are just genuinely quite strong. And one thing I'm unsure of, I don't know if it can pluck from modded bullet effects or not. I'm unsure about that, but I'd imagine so. We'll, we'll see as we come across them, but there's plenty to choose from here, and we're going to be seeing all sorts of stuff. I mean, little chest off the bat there. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good gun for us here. This uh, fires off a good amount of effects. A good amount of shots. Yeah, this is a this is a good weapon for us here. It's a really really good low tier, lots of ammo, reasonably high fire rate gun. <laughs> We're encasing everything in cheese as well. We're getting crits. Oh boy, this is this is some wild stuff right here. This is some wild stuff. So realistically, the guns we get don't matter a whole hell of a lot. There's going to be some that do, but the vast majority of the guns we get aren't going to be the star of the show. What's really going to be the star is if we can get additional items that build themselves on top of this wackiness. We are. The more wackiness we can add to this, the better. We, we are turning a lot of things into cheese right now, which is rather nice. Um, we get ourselves the Oregoni. We've got ourselves a key there. We do have two keys already. I'll buy one key here because maybe we'll go down to the Oubliette this time around. I haven't been down to the Oubliette in a little while. So maybe we'll go there. I do want to do an episode where we go to the um, the new floors that are added by Expand the Gungeon. But I'd rather make them sort of their own showcase video. So what we're going to get here. Very, very nice. We got an item that is S tier and not a gun, which is great. Reduces enemy HP all round. Pretty basic, but very, very good. Very, very good indeed. And now our two keys can go to the Oubliette because we don't really want to open our weapon chest, really. Um, we don't need to, at least. Uh, actually, we can now. We can now. We got an additional key, so even though we don't have to, we got the extra key, so why not? And we get ourselves an actually terrible weapon for us right now, um, because this thing's, yeah, it's very, very slow fire rate. I mean, it, it, is, it is pretty good. Oh, dude, I say it's pretty good, and I you immediately get hit because I try to use it at melee range, which is a pretty good tactic with that weapon, but very, very stupid of me to do so there. There you go. Much easier to just use our lowercase r. Bit unfortunate there, but hey ho. Uh, right, okay. We'll go to the Oubliette here, wherever that might be. Where's our fireplace room? Have we seen our fireplace room? Am I stupid right now? Is it this one? No? Am I okay? I'm kind of confused right now. Where's our fireplace room at? I'm not seeing it. Is it through here somehow? I think it is through here, which is weird. This is working out pretty nicely. The fire and flames. It is through here. Weird. I've never seen that happen before, I don't think. Right. Let's push our little water... And boom. There is some new stuff on the Oubliette that we haven't seen as well that we might end up coming across. So we'll see if we end up finding that. We've done very, very well on keys on this floor, which is rather nice. Um, there's a room here that just says Apache on it. I made this room because Apache made Expand the Gungeon, so it's part of that mod. Right. Let's go with our pitchfork, head on down to the Oubliette. Why the hell not? And see if we can find some cool stuff down here. I'm sure there'll be plenty of cool stuff to see. Oh, one second. Oh my god. I'm trying to unlock my phone while I'm switching between floors because I have a message and I cannot do it with one hand. 
I mean, normally I can, but it was in an awkward position, so I couldn't there for a second. Um, okay. Let's go. Let's go. We got enough money to buy another key on this floor as well, which is really good. I, I like this uh, this weapon because we're able to fire it very, very fast. Like, it's if we tap fire it, we can fire it at some rapid speeds. And then also, on top of everything else, it is still setting our knees on fire, which is pretty nice. Ooh. There's a bit of that, thank you. We're running a little low on ammo there. Getting down to about halfway. Oh, there's a... There's a pit there! Are you kidding me? <laughs> the most invisible pit ever. That was kind of cheeky. That little corner there, look. <laughs> Bloody hell. Well, I've actually got quite a good amount of money right now. I don't even know what happened there. I fired through the wall that managed to hit him. The fire's doing a good job. We'll get that open. Ooh, Master of Unlocking. More keys. That's good stuff for us. We got that early enough for it to be relatively useful. I, I believe it's on room clear. There's a chance for a key to drop, and it's a pretty good chance from what I remember. We should be seeing a lot, lot more keys. Yes, this weapon is doing a great job with the bullet shuffle. We're seeing lots of random shots. We're actually seeing, um, I think that's chance bullets, is it, where it sometimes fires your other guns. So it's kind of nice having the quad laser in backup there, actually, So because sometimes we're firing a quad laser shot on occasion. Don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Got another chest here, and it's a green one as well. Oh, that was a little bit of a stupid hit there. Ah, just every element. It's kind of like chaos bullets, but on crack. We, we are not a big fan of this room. I'm not a big fan. This is one of the rooms that I, when I first started playing the game, used to always catch me out. I've gotten a lot better at it now. Um, it's not like a guarantee that I don't get hit, but it's a decent chance. We'll grab that again, thank you. And I'll also grab that, thank you. Let's set us on fire, there you go. A little quad laser shot there. Let's open this up now. And we get ourselves whatever the hell this is, the Coiler. Does this guy have anything special going on with it? Enemies hit with this coiling shot will detonate an electric pulse after two seconds. Seems decent. Unfortunately, not the best weapon for us in our situation, but it seems decent nonetheless. We'll give it a go. Detonate an electric pulse. Ooh, hello. So, by, by the way, I, I know what this guy does now. Uh, essentially, if you buy an insurance policy, it'll mean that that gun, or I think sometimes item, will show up on the next run. I'm not sure who made this, but I have to say, I personally really, really dislike this as an idea. Um, I, like, if some people do like it, that's fair. I'm just not ever going to interact with it. It's not something I'm ever going to touch. I, I've seen a few games, a few roguelikes, where they do this idea where it's like, you can take an item from one run into the next. And I, I just think it's cheesy. And it, it's like, it just means that you can, like, make a, 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 your next run super overpowered. And I, I just, nah. Roguelikes are all about randomness. Taking away that randomness just isn't, isn't it for me? Isn't it? Also, I, I do wish that that guy didn't show up every single time. Ooh, the gun bow. As much as the Eye of the Holster is probably better, the gun bow is just a gun that I don't get to see often enough and it's very fun. So I will take the gun bow. Hey, this is one of the new things I was hoping to see. New boss. Um, we'll get lowercase r out. This is our best boss killing weapon, weirdly enough. Because so many crits and other various effects. You can see that quad laser's getting ever closer. There you go, they both hit as well. The tiger's in there as well. Another crit. It's just, oh, he's on fire now as well. There's a there's a shield in front of us, stopping him from hitting us. Lowercase R is an absolute god to you weapon. And we're firing gunbow shots on occasion. Another good reason to have gunbow in our repertoire. We did manage to get ourselves the forgotten round, which... Um, it's pretty interesting. Let's take a look at what that does. Um, this rare yet false artifact indicates mastery of the first hidden chamber. Despite being a false copy of a master round, it's time spent within the mutagen 
Genic conditions of the Oubliette has bestowed its similar power to that of a real master round. Increased damage by 12.5%. Nice. And we also get the Akchu here. Ooh, the Akchu could be good. I do like the Akchu. What a funny idea for a weapon. Right, we keep going. The Akchu here could be kind of decent because it fires multiple pellets. I don't know if each pellet can be assigned a random effect or if it's going to be the case that one shot gets applied one effect to every single pellet. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll uh, we'll play around with it and see if we can figure it out as we kill things. Uh, either way, it's a it's a good weapon nonetheless. So, uh, despite the uh, the slightly annoying sneezing, <laughs> it's still a good weapon. Yeah, you see, it puts that like curse on them. It doesn't seem that it's adopting too many effects, to be honest. Okay. You got that poison on you. And that's just damage over time, poison kind of thing. Okay. This thing's doing a really good job right now, but it's not super interesting. This thing just two-shot that guy. You've managed to put yourself in a corner where I can't get to you, but my poison still got you anyway, so it's okay. Um, we get ourselves the little raccoon trash panda. Love it. Come along, my little friend. He will, um... I, I believe the way that this guy works, if we if we feed him junk, he will transport us to the other side of a trap room and basically negate the trap room. He'll also just make it so that um, junk spawns more often. He's pretty good. He's a good lad. And... He's he's got that he's he's got that chonk. He's got he's a, he's a little bit chonky and I like that about him. We got a helix bullet in the middle of all that. Go okay, out of ammo on this thing. Want to see if I can there's some junk lovely. I'm not going to use a key on that yet. I will grab some curse though. I got no curse yet. I'll grab one curse. They always like to have at least one. Okay. Hit the enemy that I Ah, okay. That's pretty good. One, two, yeah. And it actually exploded into some shots there as well. Interesting. Okay, that's 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 pretty decent. That's pretty decent. I think this is a pretty good weapon. Anything that can like do some chain damage or like some delayed bigger damage effects are always kind of nice. Boom. I like it. I like it. The shop has for us whatever the hell that is. The warlords are. Uh, uh, how do you spell? How do you pronounce that? Iri? Uh, uh, Ire? Ire. I think it's Ire. The warlords Ire. Um, increased movement speed while holding a shotgun. Um, on taking damage, increased damage. We also got the clown shotgun in here as well. Ooh, the clown shotgun could be a funky one. Let's try and get enough money for the clown shotgun. Again, I don't know how it works with pellets. Hello, little chicken. I don't know how it's going to work with pellets, so I'll have to see. But I still like the clown shotgun. And pairs perfectly with the Act 2. We'll have two weapons that make really annoying sounds whenever you fire them. Perfect. I didn't get any money from this room. It's a little annoying. It's a little annoying. Okay. It does always shoot the closest enemy, which makes it a little less effective. Um, I'll take that for my pitchfork, thank you. I'm liking my pitchfork the best. Don't really care. Hello, ooh, the mahogany. I do like the mahogany. The clown shotgun speaks to me in a way that nothing else really does. I have to take it. And I have to hope that each pellet gets a different random effect. Because if it does, this gun's going to be real good. It, it very much seems that way. It very much seems that way. Ooh, synergy chest. Ah, really? But we did get the big shotgun, though. I don't dislike the big shotgun. I've got us there. Big shotgun, being able to um, reload to eat shotgun shell enemies is pretty funny. And then it's just really good. Also, my guy is holding it really weirdly right now. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Yeah, good, good boss killing weapon. We like it. That, yeah, that that, that 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 absolutely decimates bosses. So that's that's good to see. A bit of junk, thank you. I wonder if he can give you junkin. 
Laser rifle is potentially pretty good here, especially if we get the synergy for it. Synergy could make this thing wacky. Uh, I'll open up the blue chest, why not? We get ourselves an orbital, infrared quantstone. What's that going to be doing for us? Expels um, photonic exhaust away from the user. Stand well back. That means absolutely nothing to me. You might as well have just said, this thing rotates around you and does something. I, I have no idea what that means. I'm guessing it maybe blocks shots, but that's what all the Guanstones do, so I don't really know. It does something. Vague descriptions, darn you. Anyways, let's let's get back the clown shotgun. I think the clown sh clown shotgun and big shotgun are going to be our main two weapons. I think here. I wonder if the uh, the Akchu, the AK counts as a shotgun in the game's code. It counts as an assault rifle. Oh, there you go. Okay, it, it just fires a laser as it spins around us. That's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, this thing having every pellet be a different effect is pretty awesome. Pretty goddamn awesome. Rid of that fire, thank you. Laser's nice. It does seem that each shot has a chance to fire out other guns as well. Even better. Hold up. I thought that was golden junk then. It wasn't. We do have a good few bits of junk though. Maybe get junklets. Junk increasing our damage of our bullets. Same as uh, it works for the good old robot. Hope you guys like the sound of this clown noise. Because it ain't going away anytime soon. Hey, we got another key there. From Master of Unlocking. Lovely. Oh, Tiger. Absolutely devoured that chicken. Was that at all necessary? Feels a little bit uncalled for. The chicken was just there, minding its own business. Keep getting ammo we don't really need, but I'll take it. Brown chest. This late into the game is a little offensive. <laughs> we rounded that enemy. Oh my god, they're all jammed now. Hey, we cheesified one of them, though. I love these shields that are randomly spawning. That's one of the bullet effects. It's very useful. And we got ourselves a blue chest. I'll open the blue chest. Ooh, this is potentially pretty good because these these shots are uh, pierce and bounce. So this this the go golf rifle could be kind of good. I forget that we've got the Gondromeda strain as well here, because we're killing enemies very quickly, but it's because they have like 25% less health. Yeah, this is a good weapon. Aw, bollocks. Didn't mean to step on that. Yeah, this is a very good weapon for this scenario here. Turned you into a snake, nice. And you into a snake as well. It seems that the bullet, like, the one that's applying the snake effect had bounced around the room and hit multiple enemies and turned multiple of them into snakes. Which is why I said that the bouncing and piercing could be so very good. Because one effect can be applied like to multiple enemies pretty easily. I think this is one of our better weapons actually here. Even if, even though it doesn't fire multiple pellets like the shotguns do. This is proving to be pretty damn good. It doesn't have a ton of ammo though. Reasonably ammo efficient though. It's not taking up too much. It's about, about the same level as the Pitchfork, really. Maybe a little bit better than the Pitchfork. But I like it. This is fun. Bouncy shots are never not fun. You see how every enemy got set on fire there? Dude, the ammo just keeps coming and coming. Wow. Lovely. I just want to see. I don't want to shoot again. See if any of these turn to a chicken. Yeah, there you go. That, that chicken shot chicken if I had another enemy. It's wild. I like that. Another key, thank you. Don't know why I teleported there, that was weird. Not gonna open up the uh the, the, the brown chest. I probably should junk it though. Probably should junk it. Just in case we get junkin', because we have a lot of junk right now. So big shotgun and golf rifle. I think I'm gonna um shoot the golf rifle off like a good few times and then get out the big shotgun once we've got some shots rolling. Right. 
Yeah, I don't know why my guy's holding the big shotgun in such a weird way, but... I should probably just fire off a bunch of golf balls while we're in this phase, to be honest, get them bouncing around. Where are you? There you are. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely decimating the bosses right now. Dude, so many keys as well. Interesting here. I think this is just a master round synergy, isn't it? Hell's Bell with a master round. Yeah. Now, I don't exactly know how this is going to work with, um, with our bullet shuffle. I don't think it's going to do anything with, with, with this, I don't think. But we'll, we'll see, I guess. We shall find out. Alright, let's charge it up. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, so not, not the best weapon for us right now. I think still go with golf and then clown shotgun. The golf rifle is definitely our best weapon, which this is the thing I like about something like bullet shuffle. It makes guns that typically are just okay, or like sometimes not even good, like the lowercase r, into really, really crazy weapons. Okay, so we've got a snake bullet diving around somewhere. Everything's dying eventually. It's clown shotgun this next room. Snake bullet once again. Now get get bouncy shots and ghost shots on this thing and it'll do the same thing. Who we got up here? Oh, hello. Accuracy. Um, ooh, definitely accuracy. Uh, reload as well. I'll restock you and see what we get here. Speed. Yeah, I can buy speed later on maybe. I've got five keys now. Wow. Not a problem with keys at all this run, have we? But accuracy here, I'm quite happy with, especially with the shotgun. Don't even know what happened there. Fired and completely missed and everything just died. Look at our gun burst shots going off. And this is why I like having all these extra weapons. It's just We're getting loads of random shots going off. I like it. Gun burst seems to be uh, reasonably common in that mix-up as well. Okay, I did get hit there, but it's not a big problem. Kind of close. The little clown noise is lovely, lovely. Oh no, he's at all the shots. <laughs> I like the way we've got this raccoon with us the whole time as well. This chubby little fella. It's so strong. Oh, I've electrified myself. Yeah, got to be aware of the fact that sometimes I'll fire electrifying shots from battery bullets and uh, electrify the water that I'm stood on top of. Was not my intention. Hey, another junk, thank you. More ammo, lovely. The tiger's stuck. Come on through, boy. Come on, tiger. Make it to the next room if you can. Hey, you got some vampire boys in here. Like a golf weapon when there's all these guys coming out the floor. I need to golf them all. Uh, we got this, which unfortunately, considering we have so many keys, isn't the best, I don't think. Unless maybe it increases damage based on the amount of keys. Low chance to open chests. Okay. Um, unfortunately, yeah. Not, not the best for us. I thought maybe it increased damage the more keys you had, in which case, could be pretty good. But just a low chance to open chests. It's pretty good. Basically, it's kind of like a... You fire it at a chest, and you've got to gamble hoping that it opens it before it breaks the chest. It's a, it's a quite a cool idea. It's not always going to open a chest, but it has a, it has a chance to. So if you're low on keys, it could be a, a good potential backup option. I like, I like ideas like that. I did just kind of whack my microphone there. I hope that wasn't too loud. And by the way, like I know that like I've had it for like a month now, but I've been really, really happy with my new microphone. I think it's uh, I think it sounds much more natural and just it just sounds more clear as well. It doesn't like it hasn't like drastically changed how my voice sounds or anything like that. Um, it just sounds more clear and and better overall. I think it was well worth the money spent on it. 
Um, I wanted to put some investment into the channel because it'd been a, it'd been a really long time actually since I bought any new equipment or anything for YouTube. I put sort of apart from buying some games, it'd been a while since I really put any money that I'd earned through YouTube back into the channel. Um, so I was able to to get a microphone for like what is two months, a month and a half of what I earned from YouTube, which pretty good, pretty good. Obviously, I use it for other stuff too. Use it for gaming with friends, and I can use it for work as well. A 61? That's a rip-off love. Hello, bullet modifier. Unfortunately, a pretty bad bullet modifier, but a bullet modifier nonetheless. Right, big shotgun, golf balls. You know the drill. Also, we glitch these guys out because it makes it way easier. People that don't glitch the um, the kill pillars, living life wrong. Another pretty average gun here. Okay, boom, land on that and that. Still, these two these two weapons are my favorite. Uh, we do have another chest here apparently that I didn't see. I'll go grab that real quick. Did not get enough money to play our Sinner Grace, which is a bit of a shame. Table tech blank is a pretty decent table tech. Nice. Let's go. Probably use my active to um, give myself some ammo for this golf rifle in a moment. I need to like go through a lot of the mods and and suggest some synergies because I know that Never Named especially is looking at giving more. Oh, we lost sound for a second there. It's, it's looking at giving more interesting synergies, um, like unique synergies to his items and guns. Um, and I want to do like ones that obviously synergize with vanilla stuff or stuff from his mod as well, but that are like interesting references to other games and other things. If anyone wants to go through the um, once more into the breach wiki. Or like any of the other mod wikis, to be honest, and suggest some synergies. And it's not a guarantee they'll get made, of course. Depends on how hard they are to do and how much time they have. And if the developer even wants to do them, to be fair. But I think having those suggestions there would be great. So if any of you want to go in the comments and leave some suggestions for some synergies that you think would be pretty cool, feel free to do that. Because I've been trying to think of some, especially for Once More Into the Breach. And I've not been able to think of a ton. An additional key. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Um, I'll just clown shotgun you. Oh, who? It's the bullet bishop. This is this is interesting. The bullet bishop is actually a, a a boss I haven't seen in ages. This is a cut boss. So this boss is actually in the um, st I think it's on the Steam page for Enter the Gungeon, but it never actually made it into the game. And um, someone added it back in. I don't remember the name of the person that added it back in. I apologize. Um, but really, really cool. It might have been Round King, I believe, maybe. Um. Still, really cool to see. Really cool to see. I don't, I don't know if that's a guaranteed spawn on this floor now or not. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. There's one on the wall. Thank you, Tigers, for doing your thing. Oop, he's d 20 in. He d 20 Ah! See, this time, when I'm on fire, I burn pretty quick. Before, it took quite a while for us to burn. Oh my god, that is a gigantic tiger. What the hell? That was a huge tiger. Some more junk. Still yet to give us a junkin, baby. But I'll I'll take what I get for now. What's left? Tiger's having a hard time, so. Okay, we got through it. Hey, another bullet modifier. Oh. Dude, we're getting bullet modifier chests and getting some of the most dull and uninteresting bullet modifiers. Easy reload bullets. Come on now. Bullet modifiers could be so interesting and it's like nah. I mean to be fair, we do literally have all of them in, in our uh, in our item that we started with. But 
still. Back up to four keys. Amazing. I love the crits. The crits are wild. Where's that boss at? I keep getting um, the shots from the finish gun every now and again. Where I like, push, push all the enemy shots back. God, I remember being like one of the... One of. I don't, I don't think I was... But I was one of the very first people to get the finished gun when, when it came out. I was very proud of that. Um, yeah, let's take the ration. It's a just-in case. I absolutely no-lifed... Um, Absolutely no life to the update when it came out. Let's keep this moving. Ah! Shit! Ooh. We're getting a good few jammed enemies for 2.5 curse, to be honest. I wouldn't have expected this many. I mean, we can handle it pretty easily, but... Unexpected, to say the least. Oh god, the hammer. I just wasn't prepared for that. Oh, man. <laughs> Big groups of weak enemies are just so enjoyable with a the setup. They just get absolutely smushed. More junk, thank you. And our last chest. Lammet Configurum. I'm sorry, Ration. You're gone. We got ourselves an NPC. It's the witches. It's going to level up a gun. What's our highest tier weapon that we don't really use? I don't know. I guess I'll put in... Um, I don't know what I want to put in here. This is tricky. I guess I'll put in this thing. I don't know what tier it is, but I don't really want it. Hey, laser lotus is not bad. Is, is this? Yeah. How have I never... Do you know, I feel stupid. I feel actually stupid. I have played Gungeon for thousands of hours, and I've never noticed that the Laser Lotus is a reference to Pierce Hawthorne from, um, from Community. Because in that show, he joins a cult uh, and he's a Laser Lotus level 5, and then it says Pierce Weapon, and he's li it, literally his name in the show is Pierce Hawthorne. How have I never noticed that before? What's his synergies? Um... Okay, it doesn't have any other references in there. Gifted to anyone who reached level 5 and all the true... How have I never noticed that before? I feel stupid. <laughs> never... That's just stupid of me. Anyways, uh, probably just go big shotgun all the way here, I think. Maybe get a few golf balls in there to kick it off. Can I, can I like, fire a few off into here and then, uh, and start the fight? No, that didn't work. I've got to fire once I get in here. Right, there we go. Oh, we've rounded him. Look at his round little face. Right, we've got a little trick we're going to do with the Lamet Configurum here as well. Right before the boss dies, we pop the Lamet Configurum. Right, lovely stuff. Just going to fire up a few more of these golf balls to fill up the room. We're not going to one-cycle this guy, are we? I oh, know we might, we might. There you go. So I lamp it configuring right at the end there, and then it immediately, they all died because killed the boss. And I got the Ancient Hero's Bandana as well. Pretty, pretty goddamn good one. 
Good stuff, let's go. So now we need some ammo drops to, to fill some of these bad boys up. The ancient hero's bandana is kind of nuts, and I'd like to just use the big shotgun the entire way through this last floor, which would be kind of fun. If we can grab ammo for that. Well, let's see if we can kill the big bad boy at the end of this floor. We're at 6.5 curse already, goddamn. That's, that, that's, that's creeped itself up there pretty damn quickly. Um... Yeah, so let's use our golf ball gun and the, the, the large shotgun here. The big old shotgun. Oh, wow, okay. I didn't really understand what was going on in this room for a hot second there. The sniper over here. It keeps getting cheesed. We keep turning bullets into jammed bullets because we've got... Every now and again it fires the mimic gun. We good on this room? This room's insane. Oh my god, there's more? This room's stupid. It's like the first room I entered, it's crazy. Come on now, give me some ammo. It's not gonna, is it? Okay, the room is just covered. Oh, I managed to change him into an arrow kin. Nice. Hey, there you go. Big shotgun. All of the guns to get a ton of ammo off the back of that as well. But big shotgun. Oh, really? I made, I failed that jump. Dude, can can you not make this jump? Yeah, you can, but only just. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm I'm really really bad at this jump. I can't do it. There you go. That was really hard. Lost a lot of health to that. Hello, good sir. Are you ready to go nap nap? So actually isn't killing him anywhere near as fast as I thought it would, to be honest. Ooh, something. Something did a lot of damage to him then. Luckily this guy will give us a plenty of health and stuff. The crits are doing good damage to him. We'll pop our Lamech configure him here. Just to cheese an extra stage of it. There you go. Plenty of health to work with. Ammo galore. We got a black chest out of it. The stopwatch. No one likes a stopwatch, but we'll, we'll take it. Stopwatch is a big stinky one. Right. Oh! Golf club seems uh, perfect for this situation. Just keep keep the uh, keep the golf balls a going. Everything should die. <laughs> Gotta keep moving to keep things dying. Perfect. Amazing. Are we going the right way for the boss, do you reckon? Who knows? Okay. Managed to not fall on the traps there. This is another piercing. This is another piercing room. The golf club is just too good in too many scenarios here. We got the soul renderer thingy. A bunch of mini bosses. This should get kind of wrecked. One of them's jammed. Um, I got frozen for a second there, but I think I'm okay now. Think I'm alright. Ooh, I like this room. 
Lots and lots of fire. It's hard to keep a track of what's going on, to be honest, at this point. Luckily, these shots just bounce around the room and kill things without me having to really pay attention to where the enemy is. So I'm, I'm doing all right on that front. Ooh, getting hit by a lot of jam shots, though. Ooh, my god. I could use some health. Looks like we've slightly gone the wrong way here. Oh, wait, have we? No. No, 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 we haven't. We haven't. I don't think we have, at least. I'm pretty sure this is the right way, and this will be the boss room right here. I think. I think I'm right. I think this is the boss room. Yes, it is. Okay. Right. Um, okay. Let's see how this goes. I'm not super confident with my HP here, but we should be all right. See, luckily, you spawn things, but I've got shots dithering around the entire room that should take care of them pretty easily. Doesn't mean I won't still get hit by the shots though here. Oh my god. Yeah, this isn't going to go too well. Especially when he does this attack again. This is like the worst attack. Damn it, I tried to use my Lamet configure and didn't get it in time. Oh no, that did work. It did insta-kill them there. Okay. It, we, it takes 666 damage to charge the next one as well. I didn't realize that. Right. I forget how to do this now that it's slow-mo. Fuck. The slow-mo messed me up. That's why we don't like stopwatch. It's weird. Another Lamet phase done. I've, I basically abused every single Lamet that I've done here. I've not done a single round of it legit, I think. Oh no, I've done like one round legit. But the rest of them have just been cheesing it. Okay. Can we do this last phase? We've got four hits left in us. We do have three blanks to work with, if need be. Oh, we're, we're absolutely destroying him right now, though. One last Lamet. Mm. Boom, baby! There you go. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Another fun run looking at a pretty cool item that causes just some absolute chaos. But we, we like absolute chaos. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A very fun run indeed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.